What would you do if you got $5,000 a month for the rest of your life for free? I would travel and go do volunteer work in different places but also just enjoy the heck out of life. Get to know people from all over the world, see all the different countries I want to see, enjoy all the local foods. I would also save up for a house to pass down to my children when my time is up. Maybe invest in a farm or some other fun business ideas. Also, I would try to start competing in powerlifting and just dedicate a few years to that. Oh man there's so much that I would love to do haha. Ha. From Wikipedia. The gross average monthly wage estimates for 2020 are computed by converting national currency figures from the UNEAS, United States 5,782 US dollars and 60 cents. Canada 4,489 US dollars and 70 cents. Germany 4,045 US dollars. United Kingdom 3,952 US dollars and 70 cents. France 3,616 US dollars and 20 cents. Italy 2,658 US dollars and 80 cents. $5,000 a month is more than average wage in some G7 countries. I would be very satisfied. I would stay working, but now I would have the financial freedom to think about getting another degree or a training to pursue things I am actually passionate about and interested in. I could start the home repairs that aren't critical but would improve quality of life. I could focus on aspects of health that aren't killing me right now, but could eventually make things worse. At first not much. Probably keep my job for now and figure out what I want to do. In the meantime I can spend the extra money on avoiding things I don't want to do. Shopping for clothes that look good on me? Let's hire someone. Cleaning the apartment? Get someone who thoroughly does that maybe once a month. So no big decisions at first. Just improving my life a little e. So, that would be roughly 3,974 pounds and 25 pence, which is very nearly 3x what I make per month after tax, etc. So, month 1 pay off credit card. Months 2 5 pay off other debts. Month 6 clear overdraft. Then, fill up my savings account. Make some investments. Put more in my savings account. Get a good night's sleep for once. Live an easier more relaxed life. That's not enough to retire on for me, but it would add enough to my income that I'd be able to take regular vacations with the family, live somewhat luxuriously and still maintain the lifestyle we currently enjoy, which is already fairly nice. It would help without changing much. Tell any random Swiss bank that it's guaranteed money, get a mortgage approved for a home where I'd like to get my doctorate and live knowing that I will not need to worry about a home also, selling it if I'm moving after. Boring answer. But that's basically a lower than average salary there lol. Look for a way to get the rest of the money I need to support my family. Also, I'm pretty sure I will be getting about that much or more from retirement payments in a couple of years. It's not that much money. I've spent three times that much so far this year, just living a middle class life. Buy a home. Get a six around sound setup for my PC. Get bigger monitors. Spend a week building a custom mob mounted PC. Get the best chair and the best most ergonomic everything else I can. That's about it. Probably invest for the sake of my future kids and listen to a financial advisor. I currently write part time. My day job is X ray tech. I'd probably write full time if I made 5,000 a month for nothing. I have no kids to support, don't plan to ever have them, thousands in savings, an extreme minimalist lifestyle in a small house. I'd be living large smiley face. My house would be full of useless junk and I would have a serious shopping addiction. I would live off of convenience food and never cook again and I would pay someone to clean my house. My kids would have too many toys and I would completely spoil them. I would continue to work, and invest the extra money in dividend paying stocks. With inflation, there is no guarantee that $5,000 would buy you enough to live on in a few years. I would want to create as large of a buffer as I can before I retire. In addition to my salary, I'd buy some land and design a house and have it built with a pool and hot tub in the backyard. Then I'd go on one two vacations each year. Nothing crazy. That's where I'm headed anyhow, in the long run. And get a sportier car. I live in Brazil. 5,000 US dollars means around 24,000 Brazilian yes. That's 18 times the minimum wage here. I'd retire as long as the conversion rate doesn't change. If it changed to something like 1-1 one, one or 1-2, one, I'd just invest. R in $1 for Brazilian cash and 47 centavos. I'd still work in the short to medium term to be able to save some but then would resign and go to pursue my dreams. 
I might apply for a flight attendant job to travel though as that is my dream and $60,000 a year pre-tax is really not much. I'm British so I will take that as like what? £3,000? Not looked at rates recently. But if so I would actually be able to afford to drive and buy a car and I would spend the rest on stocks and shares over 10 years to make more with it. Spend the first year paying the rest of my student loans and car. If this reflects on my tax returns, I'd save another year towards a down payment on a house. Maybe live happily ever after. Or at least settle for alright ever after. Continue working part time. Invest some of it to save up for a camper van to live in full time. Live in camper van doing odd jobs and buy various things to help the homeless clothes, hygiene products, act. And hand them out. I just inherited a huge sum of money. I had no idea and was not expecting anything. I have it invested in the interest is way more than I need to be happy. Fucking crazy. I've a spent a large part of my life barely getting by. That's a little less than my yearly salary not a US kid so I would quit and chill. There are people who make way more than this and it is possible with like a decade of relevant experience or so, but I am a lazy person. Ain't gonna lie, that covers me. So I'd absolutely quit my job. I'd swap from a day job to making, fixing, selling shit. And since the 5k covers me well enough, I'd probably be pretty lazy about it. At least at first. Fucking chill out for a bit and not stress so much about getting a high paying job. Then probably split it in half investing half each month because I'm in my 20s and that's more than enough to start investing for now. Have a side gig or another job or just keep a job and don't say anything. Beside that, go out take my BF on dates and dinners. Treat him well. And get a super cheap ring that he likes. Traditional wedding rings are BS. Will it be adjusted for inflation? If so I would move to a low cost of living area, have a job I like for fun, and invest as much as possible. No inflation adjustment I would just stay as is and invest at all. Since the loophole isn't specified I assume I could continue to work if I wished. 5 grand on top of my full time wages would put me in a comfortable spot but I wouldn't be living it up. I could live with that. I'd quit my job, take some dance and art classes with my free time. Spend more time with my fur babies, not hesitate to buy an expensive purse or top I fall in love with, do some home improvements, and travel. I'd probably get a part-time job, definitely something for insurance purpose and to keep me somewhat busy. I'd volunteer a lot more and probably travel once a month or so. Besides that, be life as normal. Probably work for a while to get a buffer and then start farming. Not enough fruit trees in the world, so I would just plant as many of them as I can. Still planning to do it, but it would fast track. Quit my draining job and enroll in a university. I made some mistakes and discovered my passion for science and research too late in life. Now I don't have the luxury anymore and need to pay bills. Move to Kansas City or some other affordable safe large city. Rent out a nice apartment downtown, and just live. $60,000 per year is plenty for me. Maybe one day I'll move out to the country back home. Invest it for the next 10 years or so. It should net it or around 8 million depending on the market return rate. Buy land and build a house in the north, maybe Montana, and focus on hobbies. Have time to fun stuff while I'm young and not have to work to pay for my parents' stuff. Go back to school and study. Eventually buy a decent car and travel with people I get along with. Buy a house and travel. This is more than I made when I was married and working, and we used to take a two-week scuba trip every year. Costa Rica, Honduras. Belize Puerto Rico, Mexico. I'd probably keep on working as a teacher, though would probably transition to part-time earlier, where I'd spend more time on hobby projects particularly board and video game design. 60k a year. That's barely a living wage right now. So, I guess I'd stick as much as I could into savings and keep working. Maybe invest it into education so I can learn more over time. Retire. That's how much I bring home after tax already and I'm comfortable. So I basically just be the same life and living now except now I freed up 40 hours a week of time. It'd help but I could spend it fast. I'd buy more cows. Work on pastures. Build more goat pens. Get a ranch hand to help with the work. Get a new truck. Oops. Out of money. Man. Part time work. I have a friend who will see this amount cause of leaving the navy with pension soon. It's pretty sweet I definitely would be part time and travel more. Not worry about what I want to do with my life. I kinda want to be a teacher, but living off that salary seems so unrealistic. Some teachers in my area make like 15k a year. Max out my 401k, then. Buy a bigger house. Buy a boat. Buy a Porsche. 
basically I'd invest some of it productively, but the biggest share would go towards lifestyle creep, save up a few months and take my dad flying first class to Finland, all expenses paid for. He's amazing and one of his dreams is to fly first flag internationally one day. While considering I now go days without eating due to losing everything to a medical issue amputation I would probably be happy for the first time in a year and a half. Spend my day exercising rehab without having to work as much. This broken SCI body can use more than 45 meters one hour a day, but there's just only so much time as an adult. Probably Uber or do a side job from home to fill some of the day but be mostly a stay at home dad so my son doesn't have to do before school and after school programs. Quit my current healthcare job because $5,000 is almost double what I make per month. I'd probably go back to being a barista or something because I love making coffee. Dream preserve, restore, and shepherd a large piece of land. Oak savanna is a big dream, aquaponics, hydroponics, self-sufficient reality drugs, the best ones. I will invest it in solid dividend paying stocks and reinvest the income until I retire. With my 401k and whatever SS I get, I'll have a nice retirement income. Cosplay, pole dance, dance classes, acro, MMA, eat well, help others, turn it into trillions because it can and I want to, travel. Make friends. Learn. Thing of bro. Keep working and not be stressed out. Sure it's not an absolute ton of money but if something happens you won't have to worry about any financial situations.